Hey love, so I'm back with part three, I think, of my princess series, and we're going to do Belle today. So, um, my face makeup is already on, everything on my face will be listed down below, as well as my, like, face makeup routine if you're interested. Um, I've Nars got Lovejoy on my cheeks, Nars Laguna as a contour, and Nars Devote as a highlight. <laughs> um... Yeah, sort of a NARS day, not on purpose, but it was what I reached for that seemed to fit everything. Um, anything else I want to tell you? No, I think we just get started. I don't know why I'm so nervous today. It's going to be fine. I get, I get flustered every so often when I film a video, and I'm not really sure why, but such is life. Um, let's start by priming our eyes like we always do. I feel like the past couple videos when I've done tutorials I've primed with my eyebrow potion um, which is not um, regular is the wrong word to use I generally don't use this as often like every day because usually I don't use um, like I like bright colors on my eyes so I'll usually have like a brown paint pot or an orange paint pot or something with a little bit more color but it seems like the past couple looks I've done have had a little bit of like more neutral um, eye colors so I like this product I just it's interesting because I don't seem to use it except when I film recently <laughs> um, just babbling today so as has become tradition with these videos there's always a little bit something extra um, we did the like hijab tutorial or the veil tutorial in the first one we did some eyeliner tutorial in the second one and we had to bring something to the table this time too. So my sweet, sweet friend Lydia uh, asked me to do a little bit of like a multilingual um, aspect to this one. So Danny from Coffee Break with Danny, who you all know, but I'll link her channel down below anyways, um, does tutorials sometimes like in English and then completely in Spanish. And so I wanted to do something, Lydia suggested do something a little bit similar. So I'm going to try to incorporate some French and Arabic and we'll see how that works, but <laughs> it should be interesting. So bear with me. Let me know if you like it. Uh, let me know if it, it was interesting, but not something, you know, you want to see all the time. Um, and we'll see how I do. I'm a little bit nervous about this, but we'll see if we can make it. Okay, so I'm using my Ilamasca Reflections palette as I blind you with that light. I'm going to use uh, this color up here, this brown color, and on a 217 and then put that all over my lid. Oh, and in terms of, uh, if you noticed my foundation looks a little bit different, I'm testing out a new, the new Estee Lauder, not the new, but new to me, the Estee Lauder um, foundation, and it should have gone up earlier this week, so I will link that video down below if you're interested and you haven't seen it. Um, so we are just taking this color and blending it all over. Okay, let's try this in French. Donc on prend le brun, le brun clair avec le 217 de chez MAC et on va estomper sur tout l'œil pas l'œil mais cette partie je vous ai dit que ça va ça, ça allait être un désastre mais on essaye, on essaye, on va être patiente et la même chose sur l'autre œil so same thing on the other eye let's try this in Arabic, shall we? Uh, طيب رح ناخذ هذا اللون البني على 217 من عند ماك في شيء مش طبخه <تصفيق> ما بعرف شو بس هيك عرفتوا لحتى ما يبين بين انه وين ببلش اللون وين بيخلص نخلط ما بعرف شو الكلمه اذا بتعرفوا الكلمه بالعربي خبرونا الله خليكم Okay, so once that's nicely blended and you've sufficiently laughed at my inability to translate, <laughs> um, Lydia, incredible respect for what you do because I, oh, anyways, are taking our um, brown uh, micro shadow from Makeup Store and Cacao, but any sort of brown that you have, on a crease brush, just very lightly. So tap off, like just dab it in real lightly and tap off any excess, and then we're just gonna go right in that crease back and forth. Okay, donc on essaie en français. Uh, on prend une un fard à paupières en brun, quelconque brun que vous avez, 
on le prend dans le creux, dans le creux de papier, paupière euh, avec euh, un pinceau à, à, pour creux de paupière, celui que vous préférez. Moi, j'ai un de chez Burberry, mais euh, euh, ça, pas ça m'est égal, mais, mais ça ne fait pas de différence. On peut choisir quelconque pinceau qu'on a et on va juste très légèrement le mettre pour définir un peu euh, l'œil comme ça. C'est plus difficile que j'avais cru de, de faire en français, anglais, en arabe. Mais on essaye. Ça va venir. Taïeb l'arabe. Ok. Tu comptes te l'aune qui est béné. Chouïe pas و يعني ما ما راح تحطوا كثير كثير شوي وشيلوا الباقي اللي, اللي باقي عليه وبتحطوه ما بعرف كيف بنقول كريس بالعربي كمان اذا بتعرفوا خبروني ام وهيك بس عملنا شوي شوي بدنا نحطه وكمان مش نخلط بس هيدي الكلمه اللي ما كنت عارفها بدنا انه نتاكد انه ما في ما في هيك انه بين اللون واللون مبين بين نخلطه حتى يكونوا انه بينه كانه تقريبا لون واحد and for all of you that don't know um Lydia has an amazing channel here on YouTube um she and her good friend talk about books and they do reviews and they do tags so if you're a book lover um or if you just appreciate sort of good friendship and and that kind of um chemistry almost, I would definitely recommend checking them out or just go say hello. Um, I will link their channel down below again. Okay, so once that is nicely blended and I oh, there's fuzz flying all over my room. I don't know what from and outs in my eye. One sec. Okay. <laughs> I think we're okay. We're gonna keep going. Um, Once you've got it blended out, I'm going to take my uh, sophisticated micro shadow. So it's just a slightly pinkier toned um, on that same brush, again, really lightly, uh, just, to, um, just on top, just in the same motion that we just did. Um, just because I was looking at a couple pictures of her makeup and it seems like there's a little bit of a pink in there. So I'm just doing the same motion. I'll focus a little more on that outer V too, um, to just give that the side of the eye a little definition. But uh, but basically the same motion. And we are off to the races. Ok, donc, on commence en français. Uh, on va prendre une couleur, encore une fois, uh, en brun. Mais un brun avec un peu de rose dedans. Uh, car dans les photos de la princesse, j'ai vu qu'il y avait un petit peu de, de brun rose. Uh, on va faire le même mouvement. Uh, mais on va un peu concentrer plus la couleur aussi sur le coin externe pour définir uh, cette région aussi. Oh, Uh, بس رح نزيد كمان شوية على القرنة من برا لأنه هيك لأنه نعطيها شوية فورم أكتر بعرف هيدي كانت كنا فرنساوي ومش عربي بس اللبناني بيستعملوا كتير uh, فرنساوي بعربيتهم ف حنمشيها uh, ايه بال بالقرنة البرانية حتى هيك كمان ان... ان... نرفي عن عين نخليكم عم تخلطوا تخلط تخلطوا I'm just gonna blend, 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 and blend some more. Okay, so oh, after I finished blending, um, I'm gonna take my favorite uh, MAC pencil and coffee and then just uh, right on my lower lash line, just to give it a little something. She does, in all the pictures that I saw, she does keep that under eye area um, basically naked, so I'm not gonna add anything under there, but just a little bit of a brown to define that waterline. Donc on prend un crayon euh, brun, celui-là c'est Coffee de chez MAC, euh, et on va le mettre dans la muqueuse. Elle ne met rien sous l'œil, donc je vais laisser 
euh, sa nuit, juste comme ça. Mais on passe euh, ici dans la muqueuse pour euh, définir l'œil. Okay, I hope that whole uh, UN spiel with the multilingualism was at least enjoyable. Let me know if you enjoyed it. You want me to try it again in some of my other videos or if it was interesting, um, but not your cup of tea, then yeah. We'll see where it goes from here. Um, I'm gonna go put on some liner and mascara, and there is this line is not blending very well, so I might just I'll see how it turns out. I'll probably just go blend it out a little bit. I'm just noticing that it's not super blended out. Anyways, um, <laughs> I will go put some liner, some mascara, some lipstick on, and I'll show you the finished look in a minute. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. Do we have lipstick on our teeth? Do we? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, this is the finished look. I added uh, liquid liner just a little bit, some mascara, and some lipstick. Um, if you want a more sort of in-depth look on how I do my liquid liner, last week we did, be no, Ariel. I did a, um, a bit of a tutorial, a demo, what have you. I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it or if you're interested in seeing it. Um, yeah, I just so use my Kiss Me liquid liner, um, a Tarte mascara that I am hopefully reviewing for you guys soon, and my YSL lipstick in number 410, which is this really beautiful color. I also will be hopefully having a YSL lipstick lip gloss collection video going up for you guys, um, planning for next week, so hopefully it'll go up while I'm gone but you can see sort of the different colors. This one I thought was perfect for this look. Um, it's one of my favorites too, so yeah. Um, I think that's all I have to say about this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed my little, um, I don't know, take on this look and, and uh, attempts at, at being a um, interpreter, I guess. Maybe that's the word. So I can go from language to language. I was horrible at it, but um, I, I hope you guys sort of enjoyed that. Let's leave you with my three points of positivity, shall we? So the first definitely got to be jamming out to some Demi Lovato in my car this week. Um, I change my music all the time just to sort of, you know, keep things fresh, keep things new. And um, I've had her CD in the car this week, so that's been fun. Um, the second point is sort of in that same vein. Um, I don't know if you've ever had this, but like it was a moment where the song ended, I turned my car off and like I walked out of the car and it was like one of those perfect like I'm in a movie type moments. It's silly, I know, but it was, I don't know, it was just, it left me in a good mood. It was like everything like timed up pretty perfectly and I felt, I don't know, magical, whisked away. I'm losing my mind. Anyways, <laughs> um, and the third point of positivity for the day is the fact that um, after I had that little perfectly timed moment, um, I walked into the library and just spent some time wandering. I picked up a few more books to read. Um, I read, what have I read this week that I can share with you? I read, I don't know if you, any of you guys watched True Blood, but if you've either, either watched True Blood or you know the books that came before True Blood, it's the uh, Suki Stackhouse series by Charlene Harris. So that's what the, uh, the True Blood series is based on, it's those books. And I finished reading those books. I want to say last year was the last one that came out. So this year she came out with like a companion, like it's just a little book. Um, that's the companion to that that goes through all like the different characters and what happened to them after the book and what have you. It was a super quick read, but it was pretty fun. And then I picked up uh, Melissa Joan Hart, who you guys probably know as Sabrina, like the, not from the movie Sabrina, but the TV series Sabrina in the 90s. Um, she was sort of the star in that. She's written an autobiography. I actually didn't get through the whole thing. Um, some of you might have liked it. She was just a little bit too preachy and like self-important for me. Like, I don't know. It, it came off a little forced, and so I got about halfway through that and then um, sort of put it put it aside. 
Um, yeah, I'm, I've got a couple different ones that I picked up, so I don't know what I'll read next, but I'll keep you guys posted on what that is. Um, let's end this here. Uh, let me ask you to please share with me what you've been making you guys smile down below, and, uh, hope you're having an amazing day, whatever it is that you are up to, and yeah, let's just leave you by reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.